Well, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, where today we're going to talk about your PC, your frustrations, and more importantly, how to fix them. If you're using Windows 11 and your PC is freezing, going slow, or you're trying to find a fix for lag in Windows 11 when gaming, this video is for you. Let's talk practical, real-world solutions to fixing a Windows 11 slowdown and lagging problem. Before we jump in though, make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below with any problems you have, and let's get your system running more smoothly again. First, let's cover why your Windows 11 machine could be lagging or going slow. This helps figure out why each solution works. A few common causes are resource intensive background applications or heavy processes like gaming that are straining your CPU or RAM. Old drivers or hardware drivers. If your hardware drivers are outdated, they can get in the way of efficiency. Too many background apps or startup programs. Apps that automatically run when the system boots up and other background applications can slow things down. Low disk space or fragmented storage. Windows has less of a buffer or scattered resources, which can then affect the responsiveness if you have a nearly full disk. System bugs or security features. Some of the performance impacts can be due to built-in protections or corrupted files within your system. Symptoms of these issues include slow boot times, app freezes, slow multitasking, or even random Windows 11 freezes. Understanding these causes means you know why every fix is being applied, which brings us to our next section. In this portion of the video, you'll learn 13 practical fixes to stop Windows 11 from lagging and freezing. Windows 11 lag is primarily a result of high background usage. To check this, Click, Control, Shift, and Escape to open Task Manager, and then choose the Processes tab. If you catch sight of apps like Chrome or OneDrive using 90% plus of your CPU or RAM, then right-click and select End Task. This opens up memory immediately and aids us in identifying which apps are causing the slow performance. Background startup applications can interfere with your device's system. When you start your PC with a clean boot, it only opens essential Microsoft services. To do this, press the Windows and R key and type misconfig and press enter. Under the services tab, go to hide all Microsoft services and then click disable all. Go to startup, open task manager and block any useless apps, then restart your PC. If performance improves, then it's one of those apps that's been causing the lag. Memory integrity is part of Windows Defender, which keeps your device safe from malware, but it also makes quite a big hit on your PC performance, especially for mid-level CPUs. Visit Windows Security, Device Security, Core Isolation Details, and disable Memory Integrity. Restart your system. Even if you already use antivirus software, you can deactivate it safely. Apps that are always secretly running with your location, camera, or microphone on in the background can also slow down your PC. To fix this, open Settings, then go to Privacy and Security, and App Permissions. Disable access for any apps that don't need these. This frees up system resources and makes things more responsive, particularly on laptop computers. Frequent notifications will awaken background processes and this can add more workload to your CPU. To disable notifications, go to Settings, then go to System, click Notifications and select Turn Off Notifications. Or turn them off for specific applications like Teams or Mail. Then you can also be more productive without the interruption. Storage Sense in Windows 11 deletes temporary files automatically, but it can lag the system a bit when running in the background. To fix this, go to Settings, System, Storage, and Storage Sense, then turn it off. You can manually remove junk files by going to the options Temporary Files and then click Remove Files. 
This way you can make sure that the cleanup is on your terms and without interrupting your active tasks. All the transparency and blur effects in Windows 11 look great, but they can eat the life out of your GPU, resulting in frame drops and slow transitions. To disable these, select Settings and then Accessibility Options, click on Visual Effects and turn off Transparency Effects. The interface will look simpler now, but function more smoothly, especially on lower-end GPUs. There are preloaded applications on all Windows 11 systems that you will just never utilize. So to save some space and reduce background clutter, go to Settings, Open Apps, and you should click the Installed Apps and uninstall non-essential applications such as Spotify, Xbox, or any trial antivirus software. Less bloat means faster boot and better performance. Animations, smooth transitions for your end user, but they also eat up RAM and GPU resources. You can switch these off in one of two ways. Settings, accessibility, visual effects, and turn off animation effect, or go to control panel, system, advanced system settings, performance, and adjust for best performance. Hyper-V only slows things down when you're not running virtual machines. You can disable it if you press Windows and R and then type optional features.exe and press enter. Uncheck Hyper-V and reboot your system. After updates, you will often end up with temporary files buried in your hard drive. To remove them, go to Settings, System, Storage, Temporary Files and Remove Files. Or go to Start Disk Cleanup from the Start menu. Wipe these files down to speed up the read and write speed of your disk. Many services run by default on Windows, such as Bluetooth support, remote registry or print spooler. If you don't use them, turn them off by pressing Windows and R and then type service.msc, right click on a particular service, go to properties, start up type and change it to either manual or disabled. Be careful though not to turn off any core Microsoft services. Malware is one of the top causes of Windows 11 lags and freezes. Use Windows security, virus threat and protection, full scan or trusted third party scanners such as Hitman Pro or Malwarebytes. Malware frequently executes hidden scripts that will eat up your CPU usage in the background, so you have to constantly check for these. As we conclude this section of the video, it's important to note that you should not use all of these fixes in one go. Apply them in order and constantly monitor your system afterwards. If your system is still lagging after all of this, then try upgrading your RAM or go to an SSD drive or reset Windows as a last resort if you have to. These optimizations yield much faster boot times, smoother multitasking, and far fewer slowdowns, even following the big 2025 update. Sometimes lag, freezes, or crashes in Windows 11 not only slow you down, but can cause file corruption or accidental loss of important data. So it's important to know how you can recover these files. Here is how you can do it using Recoverit. Download and install the Recoverit program. Launch the software and then on the main screen, select the location where the files were lost, such as the C drive. Click Scan to begin scanning. Now wait while Recoverit scans for deleted or corrupted files. Once finished, preview the found files and select the ones you wish to get back. Click the Recover button and choose a safe destination, such as a different drive from the original location. By using Recoverit, you can cover your back in the case of PC lag or slow episodes causing file damage or data loss. And that's a wrap for your 2025 guide on fixing Windows 11 lagging and slow problems. We've covered the root causes, pointed you along in 13 practical steps, and even gave you the instructions to recover any lost or corrupted files. Bear in mind, choose only the ones that apply to you, and take things slowly. Keep an eye out for any changes. Gradually, you'll be turning your slow grinding machine into something that reacts and does the job. If you found this video helpful, do please leave a comment down below and let us know which fix worked best for you. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already done so, and ring the bell icon to stay up to date. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay sharp and keep your PC running smooth.